What is recovery like after eyelid surgery? Recovery after eyelid surgery depends on several factors. The type of surgery being performed, if another surgery such as facelift or is being performed at the same time, the method of anesthesia, the surgical team including nurses and technicians, the surgical technique, and the post-operative recovery process. It has been my assertion that the patient's experience during and immediately after surgery has a significant impact on the recovery period. The factors which I have optimized in my practice to help my patients recover faster after surgery include the anesthesia method, the surgical team, the surgical technique, the post-operative recovery process. In our practice, we perform eyelid surgery under local anesthesia with intravenous or IV sedation. This same anesthesia method is used if we're doing other procedures at the same time, such as brow lift or facelift. We rarely use general anesthesia, which in my experience requires longer recovery, is more likely to cause nausea and vomiting, and patients experience prolonged bruising and swelling. We developed our own customized approach to sedation, which consistently results in our patients waking up fresh and comfortable, allowing them to go home soon after surgery. Having the right surgical team of nurses and technicians can have a significant effect on how smoothly and uneventfully a surgical procedure is being performed. I perform my procedures in my own operating facilities, which are accredited by the Joint Commission. The Joint Commission is the same organization which oversees hospitals and ambulatory surgery centers. I have observed how working in my own facilities with my own experienced team has resulted in our patients having a much better recovery experience. For optimal cosmetic and reconstructive surgery, the surgeon should have an artistic eye, technical expertise, and experience. During my consultations, I discuss how I feel that as a surgeon with over 20 years experience, I'm able to respond to many different situations in a way an experienced pilot can respond to different situations when flying a plane. A well-executed surgical procedure will typically result in a better recovery process. The post-operative care begins in the facility where the surgery has been performed. Many surgery centers and hospitals have too many patients with too few nurses and support staff. This is a time when swelling and bleeding can affect the outcome of your procedure. In my facilities, we have systems and more people to attend to our patients immediately upon the completion of surgery, which has helped our patients to recover faster. As far as the at-home recovery process is concerned, it is typical to have some swelling and some bruising particularly in the first 24 to 48 hours. We see this improve daily, such that most of our patients are able to return to work in five to seven days after surgery. Some application of cover-up makeup or tinted eyewear can be helpful at that time. A significant part of the healing process does occur during the first few months. However, healing can go on for approximately one year after any type of surgery.